what's up? Hey, black man. What's up? Well, you know, hey, first of all, let me thank you very profusely, profoundly, and all the rest of that stuff for sending me the uh, the uh, ballotpedia or whatever the hell, the, the ballot thing, you know, where you put in your address and they tell you who's running in your place and they tell you what the propositions are in your area and they even tell you something about the candidates or whatever. It's an app. Everybody's got app these days, so. But oh, yeah, you got it off of an app, though? Well, they asked me for the. I think I had to pay. I think I had to pay some money, though. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I actually did it on the computer online. I know. All I'm saying on, on the thing that you yeah. sent, it had like a, you know an a, 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 a app. I mean, you know, you do, you know, you do the app thing. I don't know. You know. Oh, okay. That's cool. Then that's cool. I mean, this I is. I have to put it, download the app myself. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if you have to pay for it, though. It's that's my problem. Well, it's not a problem, I guess. I, they ain't gonna charge me for so much money, I suppose. You know. Yeah, for a nap, it's not gonna be that much. Hey, man, I got it. I got it. I got a mask. I, I, I told you, right? This uh, sister gave me problems at Barnes and Noble when I was trying to get the um, the uh, the new Joe Horn book. Oh yeah, you you told me. Yeah. So I went, you told us all. Yeah, but. <laughs> I, I I got this mask. I got a mask a long I time ago. Out part one and part two. <laughs> <laughs> but the mask I'm wearing it now. It says blackity black black black. This is what I wore into the store. Oh, oh I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Shucks, man. And the HBO West hoodie too. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> I had just got it. I said, oh, this is too precious, you know. Because you know, here's what happens when you exist in the third infinity. Hey, things happen the way it's supposed to happen, you know. That's exactly right. So that's the way it is. So I have some good stuff. And I like how you handled that too. Yeah, I, I thought about it. I thought about it. Then I said, you know something? It don't matter. If I spend any more time, she just going to get mad at me. If if I say anything that, that, that really pull, pulls her out, she's going to get mad at me. So the least I can do is just spark a little sting. And then here's what I thought. Because, you know, people don't know. Everybody, okay, let me, let me start all over. When I started writing, when I started really writing, I wrote. I wrote because in the sixties I used to listen to Laura Nero, you know, the the singer, the folk singer, whatever you know, Stone Cold Picnic. Uh, I don't know, you know, Save the Country. Uh, I don't know if you know. Anyway, she's a folk singer back in the sixties. I saw it. I saw it from more east. I lo I loved it from the beginning, you know. Eli and the Thirteenth Confession. You don't know anything about that. Okay, wait. Don't worry about it. So anyway, I just liked the way I just liked her, right? So when I got into the Air Force. Now, I haven't been writing any poetry or nothing like that, but when I got into the Air Force, something happened with this woman, right? Or it was a white woman, actually, with my blonde hair. You know, and they were, basically, the dudes were taking advantage of her. But, you know, she tells she's a little crazy. And I didn't like it. So I wrote, I wrote this, like, three-paragraph letter. And at the end of it, I wrote, you know, I, wrote, I, I, did, I did something. And I gave it to the company commander. I don't know why I did that. I just did that. And they and they and they did something about it because to me it was it was she was a medic. The was they brought over to the medics barracks. She was a medic because oh, it was female. No, she was a she was a woman of the air force. She was a wife. I don't know. But maybe she was a medic. No, maybe she wasn't a medic. But she they brought over to the medical barracks. And to me that was like, hey, you don't do this stuff here, you know. I mean, I don't. Mean, I'm not doing no feminist thing. I'm just doing like a justice thing. I don't know. I have this weird thing about. It doesn't matter if somebody's committing crimes. It's just you got to be just with your crime. You can't take advantage, you know? <laughs> Is that, yeah. In other words, I respect the con artist, but I don't respect the killer. You, you know what I mean? I can't explain right. it. So anyway, so the guy who actually was my my uh, nemesis, the, my company commander came at the same time I did. When you say company commander, he was commander of the medics, but he wasn't a medic. You know what I mean? He was just an administrative guy. You know what I mean? The medics was a whole right. other thing. But we came to the base at about the same time. For some strange reason, he had a terrible liking to me. I mean, a terrible dislike to me. And the whole time I was there, we were battling it out. I would always come out on top, though. Why? Because that's because I come from the South Bronx. That's why. That's with these Bronx people. Anyway, so when I wrote this thing. That's he's, right. That's right. Hey, I try to tell. I try to explain this to people. Then I stopped trying to explain this to people. I just let them experience it on their own. So anyway, so he had. To, he's the one that got the letter. And so he had to do something about it. But then he told me, he said, you write very well. You know what I mean? And nobody ever told me that. You know what I mean? I'm going like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and this was like basically 
19, yeah, 71. So I actually started writing poetry after that. But I don't consider, and I, well, I started writing poetry because I'm a, I was a terrible speller. I just can't spell. Right. I couldn't spell for Jack, right? So it was a therapy to me, but I don't, really as it sounds, I don't consider myself a poet, right? I, kid, I consider myself a wordsmith. That's that's the long and short of it. So now, now I, I don't really write a lot of poetry now. But now with writing comments and writing sort of stuff that I'm writing down right now, I'm right back to where I started from. I went to that wordsmith thing, and I'm I'm just I'm I'm having a ball. <laughs> yeah. so, so I started to write this woman something, but I said I'm not. I, that's the thing. If I write her, I'd be writing her like an essay. You know, not really about her, but about the situation. But I didn't feel like it, so I didn't do it. I had other things to do. Ooh, that was a long time to tell you that. But anyway, so that's 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 what's happening. So what's happening in your world, man? What's going on? Uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. What is you a know, lot of stuff? At, um, let me go to it right now because I was looking at it. The um, Assembly Bill 3121. Oh. Did you? I just posted something I wrote. I, I'm so happy. This, 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 this is my main, my week. The, the beginning of October, that was it for me. I'm going like, oh, we, we, it's on now. It's on. <laughs> yeah. God. It's, Are you talking about when you wrote into the tradition of Cali House? Yes. Were you mother more? I'm looking at that right now. Oh, man. You want me to read it to you? I would gladly yeah. read it to you. As I, you know, <laughs> follow the bouncing cursor. <laughs> Let me find it, cause, cause you know I'm I'm old school. You know I write stuff out first, and then it's like a it's like a what do you call that? Uh, it's like editing, and I write I write stuff out first, and then I type it up, and then I, you know, then I you know do something else to it like that. Uh, where I wrote, it's here someplace. I don't know someplace. Yeah, four October, uh, Sunday. Yeah, here it goes. Hey. Looks like this, the, the original form. You, you, the original form, the thing I, I, well, I guess I give you the thing, but I'll give you the uh, date up top. I said, in the, and then you know, you know, I don't use the word the anymore. I use the, D A instead of the, right? And I do it as to a, a couple of homage. One, one, it started because of uh, the Five Bloods, the Spike Lee movie. And of course, Delroy Linda such I said, this movie is great as far as veteran goes about Vietnam. So I want to pay homage now. We just want to keep it until after war season is over. So if Delroy Lindo gets an award or whatever have you, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. but then Chadwick Bozeman dies. And so I go like, okay, I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep on saying duh. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the tradition I'm sorry. No, gay. <laughs> so in the tradition of Cali House. Comma, Queen Mother Moore, and so many others in between. We now have Maureen Simmons. No relation to Simmons College. I put a question mark because <laughs> see, okay. <laughs> uh, let, let me let me try to do, and then I say all praises. Then I put three. Then I think I think I put three uh, three exclamation points because I did some um, some punctuation editing in there. But this is this yeah. this is one of my inside jokes, right? When I say yeah. no, no relations to Simmons College, I put a question mark. Simmons College is HBCU, the, or the, you know that really started. That's where uh, ADO started because of the thing that they had with you know uh, with Dr. Cosby and, and, and Yvette Cornell and 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 um, Antonio Moore. So it started right. Simmons College. So when I say no relations because question mark right. So yeah. I, it's just an inside joke. Okay, I'm an inside thing. No, I get it. I get it though. Okay, gotcha. Then I start off the next sentence. ADOS. Now has a complete family structure, with Maureen as the dutiful daughter, Assemblywoman Weber as the as the stern auntie, Reverend yep. Cosby. Let's say again. Yeah, I said yep. Reverend Cosby as our resourceful uncle, Mrs. Cosby being the midwife. Right. Yvette and Tone are our parents. Okay. Now, now if you notice. I had put as, 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 but when I got to Yvette and Tone, I said, are, you see? Right. Now, those people are playing roles, but to me, Yvette and Tone are our parents. And, you know, parents are like parents. You yes. gotta, you know, like that. Right, you don't get it twisted. That's who they are. Now, I put uh, um, Dr. William Sandy Darity and Christian Mullen being the proud grandparents. 
Uh, Kristen um, Mullen and uh, the one that wrote with P Professor Darity the book that's out right now. I have it back in New York. I'll get back to when I get to New York. Okay, so that's why I included her. Plus, I wanted you know male female. I want this whole male female energy, right? Uh, with the multitudes, well, you know how I put multitude, then I put the the brackets and the S in there. With the multitudes yep. of cousins and distant, early, uh, and then I put brackets again, allied relatives. So that includes the whole world. Let me just stop right. here for just a second. Just, 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 just to say this, like, what people don't understand. I was just listening to this brother who passed a while ago. He was he had a great analysis. What was his brother's name? I should look him up on the thing. Um, oh man, oh, this man. Um, People don't understand what black Americans do is picked up all over the world by black people. And of course, if you're picked up by the black people, which means the downtrodden, the, the, when I say black people, okay, let me back up, the downtrodden. So even if you're in a nation where you are, the, are, are the, at the lowest level, you are, you are keenly aware of what black Americans are doing. We said this, I'm not just talking about dancing and whatever, singing and whatever have you. Because I first started travel, people would ask me about Rodney King. They asked me about the Black Panther, stuff like that. Only lately they'd be asking me about, you know, you know well, I, you know, I guess they're going to be asking me about this stuff now. But you understand what I'm saying? So to yeah. me, that's what it is. What we do, what we, ADOS does, that resounds the entire world and follows. That's why you have all these yeah. other people. It gives people a uh, hope. And then, yeah, and, and um, just to interject, right? Yesterday, while I was trying to take a nap, I said, well, I just want, you know, some talking heads that sometimes that helps me sleep. Right. So I turned to PBS and Skip was on. Right? Hmm? Your boy, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. You mean you you, you mean the, the, the boy that Barack Obama wouldn't, you know, had had tea in the cop with, you know, that 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 yeah. guy, that Skip. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So this is like. um. African Americans, right? So now this is like another uh, documentary and stuff like that. And um, it was towards the end because I was in and out of sleep. So, you know, he did the 80s and stuff like that. Then he went to the 90s and 2000s, you know, 90s with Rodney King and stuff like that, 2000s with, you know, what's happening, you know, lately. And then when he got all the way up to now, one of the things that they were showing that was even with the protests, right? that was happening here in the U.S., they showed other people in all over the world when they were doing their protests, you know, the images that they had, you know, the posters, the masks that they had and stuff was all ADOS. Really? They were resonating with ADOS. Oh. So it goes exactly with what you were saying, mm. that the downtrodden look to us to lead and I, I mean, we're we're in a we're in an epoch that that that's that this it's extraordinary. I mean, it's unbelievable because when I look at this stuff, you have to understand. I've been involved in a lot of movements, a lot. Believe me, you know. They talk about Queen Mamua. I sat with Queen Mamua. You you talk all this stuff, all of whatever the thing, all the rise, the, the upheavals, all all this stuff. This, if I'm telling you that of all the stuff I've seen, I'm telling you this is it. I'm telling you this is it. I, I, I'm talking about reading about all the other movements, whatever have you. There has been no other thing like this. And I, you know, yeah. these, these folks just don't know. Okay, but, but back to the point. Uh, so, 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 but you say you saw, you're saying ADOS as the movement, or you say you saw signs that said ADOS, that you talk about ADOS at all? What's happening? No, no, I'm saying they were just talking about, you know, I'm saying from an ADOS perspective, okay. like these images, these images was ADOS people. Okay. Or some of the things that they were saying okay. was like, you know, you can tell that where his origin came from was ADOS. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm not saying ADOS the movement. Mm. I'm saying ADOS the spirit. I got you. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Like, even for them, they may not even know not who yet. ADOS is. They may not even know what ADOS is about. But spiritually, they are, they are aligned with ADOS. Mm. But you know what's also happening was quite interesting because there is a generational divide, especially when you see it with this Biden thing. It's very funny because yeah. I just listened to a little bit of Professor Black Truth. Because I tell you, sometimes I just, I just, he does a lot of research. Him, well, 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 no, Professor Black Truth does it first, but the Black Authority, he just 
he just goes off. He just uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. people some people say he's rude. I say nah. He's just telling you like you know, get your act together. You gonna call me? You better get your act together. But right. you know, he's not rude. He's raw. Raw. Thank you. He's raw. So anyway, this is this dumb sister calls in and she he he bladed into her. They said, "Well, how old are you?" You know, but she apparently she wouldn't answer. Said, "Well, let me talk to your husband because you know what that means because she ain't got no man." Then she said, "I'm gonna talk to your wife." It's, it's going back and forth. But the whole thing, what she didn't get, and what she was he was trying to explain, you of that generation that you know, it's like Malcolm said, you know, you stick you stick a knife in six inches, you take it out three inches, and you think that's some progress. You know what I mean? The, the, yeah, what he yeah. can say, this, but I say no. But 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 the other thing is that. There's all these old Negroes, the same thing. We got to vote. We got to vote. Then you say, well, what, what are you voting for? I mean, what's your, what's your agenda? No, we got to vote. We got to vote. They said, that's just an automatic response. You know what I mean? I get the same thing. Yeah. I ask, I ask, here's an important question. I, people said, Donald Trump, we got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him. I asked this question. I said, what did Donald Trump ever do to you? Well, if you're a black man, you know, I said, no, no, I'm just asking what, I'm asking specifically, what he, did he do to you? Yeah. And people have to think about that because my next question is, okay, what what did what did Biden do to you? Now, if you ask that question, then you get some very instant reactions because you guarantee Joe Biden has done more to you than Donald Trump. I guarantee it. I guarantee. My my thing is. If you just look at it from a political point of view, you have to say, like, who played more of a role in just politics in general? And your so demise. Politics, I'm saying, if the politics have you in a situation where you're saying, how come we didn't achieve what we achieved, then you have to always look and say, okay, well, who's been in power the longest? And what was their role in either helping or not helping us? And then that's where you get your conclusion. And then people get confused because I'm not telling people to vote for Trump. I'm just yeah. saying, though you keep on saying Trump is bad, but you don't understand. The Democrats are worse. And they've been there worse for a longer period of time. And I don't yeah. think they really... Well, well, I look at it as like, they're just as bad. And I guess you could say the reason why you would say they're worse is because you think they're on your side. While the Republicans tell you we're not on your side. It, it, it goes to that, that excellent, the memes, the, the age of the memes is something else. That meme that have the Republicans in, in the white in the white cone sheets, you know, the Ku Klux Klan thing, and the Democrats in the, in the Kente Koff ones, that just yeah. knocked me out. I said, okay. <laughs> People don't see yeah, this, yeah. they don't understand. You know, but back to the point, but, but but that's one that's one part of it. But I keep on trying to explain. I, I said this in a thing I think today, something like, you gotta go to the root. The root cause, Donald Trump is or, or Joe Biden is just presidents. They've been poor, they they whatever, they're long gone. The problem is that you are so lazy, you haven't gone and changed because who everybody said Supreme Court, Supreme Court. Oh yeah. Well who 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 does the Supreme Court? It's the senators. Then how come and if all the senators come from the same school, from the same Harvard and Yale, and they have the same things, then you're going to get the same kind of people. So your job yeah. is to make sure that your senator is not the senator that's going to put that Supreme Court justice in place. Not the president. The president exactly. always suggests it's your senator. Yeah. Why do you still get that same senator that keeps on screwing you over? And yeah, my thing is that's what down ballot is about. That's right. And that's what these folks are not, a lot of folks are not getting. I just saw the thing with, with Chris Rocks. And he go, yeah, I'm going to vote for Biden. I say, you're an idiot. You're stupid. You're lazy. I thought you was a comedian. Most comedians I know are smart. They read. Obviously, you yeah. haven't read. <laughs> anyway, let's, let me finish this letter here. Um, the distant, the distant okay. relative, well, letter is just this, this, uh, my, my, my little tome. My, I, just, I don't know what to call it. My declaration. Uh, the distant relative. What a glorious family we are, with so many well wishes cheering us on. Then I put no K N O W dot dot dot. The naysayers, that's real. That's okay. I'm sorry. I, I know this. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna say no. The naysayers. It could be N O the naysayers or 
or no, have knowledge that the naysayers have had their days and will surely carry on. They can carry on and you can keep on saying, you know, you know, uh, oh no, I was sitting with reparations. We've been doing reparations for a long time. Y'all can say that. It's fine. You carry on. However, uh, however, this epoch, this time period is ours. Hashtag ADOS. Yes. To me, that to me, see, I have to, okay, look, I have to get in my own kind of thing. Because a lot of times I'll be writing, and then what happens? I said, Oh, you're not going to write that. Oh, you're not going to put that down. Oh, yes, he did. Somebody else say, somebody, Some other person in my head goes, Oh, yes, he is. You know, he is. <laughs> now he can't put that down. Yes, he is. <laughs> so I wrote, when I, I love the word epoch. Because there's a time period. I just, I love, I like, I like search, uh, circa, and, and epoch. Because things don't happen at one particular point. They happen, in a, you know, a, a, like that. So this epoch is ours. Hashtag ADOS. Okay, so I put, I put that up, right? This, this, this is what I'm getting. This one, remember I told you I was trying to study Instagram and how to deal with it. Yeah. This is a perfect Instagram post. So I put that up. Now, if you're reading this through, say your brother reading says, "Hey, wait a second. He's got daughters, he's got parents, he's got grandparents, he got uncles and aunties, you know. He, he ain't, wait a second. He ain't got no, where the brothers at? Yeah. This is where the brilliance come in. Brother, black man, let me tell you. I said, I got him now. Because some dummy troll, not dummy, I'm just saying, some intelligent troll is going to say, hey, you didn't mention the brothers. Aren't you a brother? So what I did in the comment section of the of the post. Do you have the post there? Yeah, I got it right here. Do you see the comment section? Yeah. You see what I wrote? Yeah. Okay, because I can't I don't have it. I can't like both of my phones are engaged. Can you kindly read it to me? Because I want to hear what I want to hear it myself. Because I think, well, I want to hear it myself. Okay, hold on. Now, uh, I do this a lot. I do, okay, you know, it's just me and you talking. You know what I mean? This is not the, yeah. whatever happened. But I do, like I said, I think this is one of the things that makes me brilliant, okay? I'm sorry. I had to say, you know what it is? This is the radio thing because, you know, when you're a radio, then nobody who knows you are, you edit, like you edit, you know, you, I'm talking about the old time with the tape. And, and, and right. you, know, you, 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 you cut yourself with a razor blade and all the rest of that stuff. It's like three o'clock in the morning. You're sleepy, whatever. Have you, nobody's around, and you do this brilliant edit. You say, "Oh man, I'm so good." There's nobody around, so you 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 can only pat your own. You can only break your arm, pat yourself on the back, and nobody else around. So this is the kind of thing I do. I something like this happened. I said, "Oh, but man." <laughs> Ooh, it's so good being in the third infinity. Okay, you got it, man. What does it say? Got it. Okay. So it says, yes, I know there is no brothers mentioned. Right? Mm -hmm. That is because of my adherence to the code authored by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. as outlined as the ninth area of human activities. And of course, bracket S, bracket. The brothers, bracket S, bracket, exist in that realm, which is never to be discussed in public. Hold on a second. 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 So people okay. don't people don't know, but then when the, the the ninth area activity is the area of war. Yeah. Okay. And if you listen to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. every week, he'll go all the other all the other eight areas. You know, uh, the education, the whole thing, you know, the labor, law, uh, sex, uh, religion, whatever he, whatever he does, right? Up into the, but the nightmare of war, he never discusses that over the, over the phone, over the over the airways, right. because when you're in that area, you don't discuss it. Either you doing it or you ain't. That's right. There you go. Okay. What else it says there? Okay. Not even talked about at family gatherings, which goes back to what you just said. <laughs> These intrepid, intrepid Sloan warriors don't know who they are, but do know what must be done. www.producejustice.com So if you go to their website, then you can get the book. You'll, you'll, you'll know about the nine, nine areas or whatever have you. But go back, go back to that sense of after the intrepid, these intrepid, uh, uh, what's that? These intrepid Sloan warriors don't know who they are, 
but do know what must be done. They don't know who they are, but they do know what must be done. Come on, that's poetic. I'm sorry. That's that's a typical Sloanism. This is like you got you, you get you can say, wait a second, what is he saying? What I don't understand this. What is he what is he actually saying? And let I let your mind go yeah, twist it and is, uh, wrestle with this thing. In a riddle. <laughs> this is you know what this remind well, you, you must have been there. You oh no, you wasn't there. When I became arts director for BAI, even before then, you know, time the time when you had to, when you wrote memos and stuff like that? Yeah. I used to write memos that were so dense that pe people would get my memos that they would they'd be reading through stuff, they would they'd get my memos that huh, they put it to the side. We gotta deal with this lady. <laughs> keep on reading that stuff. <laughs> study. Cause I made a point. I used to use I, I try to be like one page, but the one page would be so dense packed that you had to study this sucker. You had to study. There's no way you can understand it on a cursory reading, you know? This is not this is not speed reading, you know. So anyway. So anyway, I'm some sort of proud of that. You know, I got I got I, I, I think I use Instagram to the fullest. And uh, you know, I wrote. That's I'm always happy when I wrote and when I write, I wrote, you know. So what? So what's so now? What's happening in the world, man? Um. Yeah. So when I was looking at um, let me go back to it. The bill, Assembly Bill Number Thirty One Twenty One, right? Yep. California. I said, yeah. So I'm like, oh, let me see what this is here. Not just reading about the bill, right? Which has to do with more than um, I believe it's like. It says more than four million Africans and their descendants were enslaved in the United States in the colonies that became the United States from 1619 to 1865, inclusive, right? But what I'm referring to in it is that I'm like, there's a lot of numbers in here. Like, you know, from a numerology point of view, like oh. a lot of numbers. Okay. <laughs> a lot of numbers. So let's take a look at some of the numbers, right? Well, do well, tell me. Go ahead. I'm telling you, 3121, that's a seven right there. That's it, spiritual. Right. But if you add the AB, that's right. which is a symbolic bill, that makes it a 10, which is a one. Right? The beginning. This is the beginning. That's yeah. it. Now, if you go to. So I said, okay, let me look up number one again. Let me just go back to one, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm on some site. It's actually the Times of India, believe it or not, IndiaTimes.com. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> but, also, but also, before you go to remember, seven is a spiritual number. We are a spiritual people. The only reason right, why we're still right. here is because we're spiritual. If, if this was just about a physical thing, whatever, we have been gone a long time ago. You can't yeah. kill this spirit. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. These spirits that run yeah. around, we, these the, 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 the divinity that we are cannot be killed. Yes, and this is what I'm saying. Like, with the seven, you're right. It is spirituality because if it was a physical thing, we would have been outnumbered and we would have been slaughtered because it would be a physical fight. But since it's a spiritual fight, we cannot be defeated because we're fighting on a different level, on a different plane, in a different reality. Right? That's it. Yep. Okay, so if you go back to, like I said, the 10 part, mm -hmm. the 10, which is the number one, mm -hmm. okay, the number one is, is the sun, right? So it says number one people, sun. <laughs> so it's sun people also, correct? That's it. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says, okay, like the sun, number one persons or groups, if you want to put it, right? Usually like to lead from the front and do better in positions of authority over others, right? Mm -hmm. They would usually prefer to be their own masters or at least feel more comfortable when in commanding positions where they do not have to answer to many, right? That's it. So now you look at all that, you know, you could chop all that up to like the makeup of who we are, but then it goes further. It says, that is why they should avoid partnerships. 
So this bill should not be partnered with no other groups. Nothing. nothing no else. amendments. You know, gotta avoid that. Don't you try, no vote. amendments. Don't try to water it down. Don't compromise. Right. Blah 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 Some blah. Things have happened before, you know, with um inclusion that we've had before never really worked out for us. So this one is like, man, this is just an hour thing here. Now remember. Right. Remember when? Remember, this is just California. But also remember when I told you about the stern aunt. Yeah, this sister ain't gonna let this be watered down, right? She, and plus, plus she's just outnumbered anyway. When I say outnumbered, I mean she's the only one like her. That that makes her more resolved. We should look yeah. upon them. Yeah. So, so, so I'm just telling you, this assemblywoman, assemblywoman Weber, Auntie Weber. Oh, I wouldn't look. I wouldn't want to be. Don't be in the room. Don't be in the room and try to oppose anything. But go ahead, man. What's happening? Okay, so now the other thing is, it says uh, it refers to the one as persons. So let's put persons with the bracket s mm -hmm. bracket or creative, strongly individual, inventive, and positive. Now, what does that say there? That's it. We can end the quote. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Yeah. You yeah. know, ones are mavericks, you know, so they're the ones like the first. They're the first to do. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something about this. Uh, 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 you have more? Do you have more? Um, let's see. Okay, you know, whenever they talk about, you know, with numerology, they always try and say your line of work and all that other stuff. So they, they say this, right? Um, but one person could do well as a successful company promoter, preacher, orator, organizer, right? Any career that gives a position of authority. Um, it also has to do with advanced inventions, research, medicine, occultism, astrology, um, telepathy, photography, interior or dress design and music, art, or any concentrated study or line of work where the mental aspect comes into play and provided that they are in a position of authority over others. They are so versatile that they can fit it in almost any line they set their eyes on. This is their biggest strength. Right? Okay. But it says, but ironically, their major weaknesses too as as over versatility can confuse them as to what they should actually follow. This is why you need the family. Yeah. This is why yeah. you need the family. I often say that, you know, but well, I'm not going to get, you yeah, I should say, it. you know, uh, and Antonio stays on his square. He just keeps on hammering them numbers. So it's hard to get oh, in yeah. oh, like that. Question. But Yvette. By the way, I, I checked out um, the interview with um, Sister Simmons, too. I checked that out. And um, yeah, they were just going at it. They were just, you know, it was like iron sharpening iron. There. That's it. That's yeah. it. You see, I wrote, I wrote under that. And, too. and I, I know you understand the iron part because you like that. Because isn't Ogun iron? Yep, that's right. That's right. <laughs> steel, steel, strength and steel. You know, iron strength is yeah. iron. But the thing, but let me leave it right there. I don't want to go into the other thing. But here's the thing: I made some tea. I'm still doing. I'm not still doing. But uh, you know, you know, tomorrow's my fasting day, so I figured yeah. uh, I'll take some smooth boo tonight. What the hey? It's just in case. Wait, wait. Let me just say something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, what else? September thirtieth. Yeah, it was approved by the governor on September thirtieth, twenty twenty. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to that last thing and see some dates here. So that's four. That's a seven. Yeah, exactly. And it and says most important numbers and dates. Ones, twos, fours, and sevens. <laughs> and all of their series, such as the first, second, fourth, seventh, tenth, eleventh, thirteenth, sixteenth, nineteenth, twenty, twenty second, twenty fifth, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, and thirty first. But you you know, you know, I I use numerology as parlor games, but when it works out, I just always just have a good time with it. Yeah. Like for oh, instance, yeah, me too. My thing is that um I've always felt that, you know, with numerology, people may like go, oh, that is, you know, like astrology, but I'm like, but a lot of times these numbers like hit with other things that it's like, is this a coincidence? You know, this just happened to, you know, fall that way? Or is there really something to it? Let me give you. Even um, chapter 319 
of this thing is a four right there. You know, and, and you can use number personally, like like for instance, my phone number growing up in the South Bronx, because you know we had we had back then we had this, the, the, the 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 what do you call that? The, you know, so it was like C Y Cypress. Was this, was yeah. it my Cypress? So my number was Cypress two five zero three seven, right? Well, yeah. five zero three seven. That's my birthday. Look at that. Numbers follow you around, man. Yeah, when when I, when I have my house in in Somerville, New Jersey, fifteen third Street. Yeah. You know, well, your numbers will follow you around. It, it, it's, it's really quite interesting, you know. It's, it's quite yeah. interesting. If, you know, and, and, and the, the, the like, thing is, like my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same exact time my son was born. He was born at 10 13. <laughs> That's my birthday. <laughs> there it is. And then and, and, and all that tells you is that you're in sync with the universe. Yeah, because it is it is about vibration. Okay, here we go. You are a Christian, right? Okay. Now the 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 old the Old Testament. How does it start? The, you got your Bible there, or something like that. The Old Testament starts. Yeah, pull it out. Yeah, pull, yeah. Pull, 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 pull out your Bible, man. I want I want to check this because I heard this on Kaiser Report. I think I heard it on Kaiser. Not Kaiser on, on, on Orange Pill, you know. Which uh, check out this latest episode because we got to jump on this, man. Uh, because uh, things, the landscape is going to change rather uh, quickly, and we, we're going to we may be able to make some uh, some moves. I forgot who the guy was, but the guy he used to be on MTV. Uh, yeah. And the, the, the latest, the latest Orange Pill broke. I I, ca I catch him every Sunday morning when I'm walking the dog, and I just you know because we walk for a long time. So I usually catch him and listen to the whole thing that that thing. But he has okay. a good one. On. Okay. So how does how does how does the how does the old old, 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 old testament start? Oh, Genesis 1? Yep. Okay, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's, that's verse 1. Verse 2. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. Stop right there. Okay. Darkness. Darkness. In the beginning, it was darkness. Yep. That's how it started off. Yeah. Okay, blackness. Okay, I'm saying black. You say dark. I'm not going to miss where. Now, go to the beginning of the New Testament. How does that read? All right, hold on. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. Okay, the first book in the New Testament is Matthew, right? Matthew 1, mm -hmm. right? It says. This is the ge genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the okay. son of David. No, 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 no. There's got to be how it starts. How to, where's the one that says how the world starts? Is that the... Oh, okay. That could be John, then, because I think John tells that one. Let me see. John. Oh, uh, yep. It's John. Okay. So, John 1, the word became flesh. In the beginning was the word and the word was with god stop and the word stop. was god. stop okay. stop here's the thing and i yeah. did this a long time ago we got blackness right yeah the word was with god right yeah to me when they say word they're saying vibration it's not word. It's vibration is the word that should be used. You understand? It's not word. It's vibration. So out of the darkness comes the vibration. Or vibration and darkness exist at the same time. So we, we, we're talking about melanated people. Right. Black people, right? Our vibration, out of our darkness, creates everything that's yeah, how yeah. i read that that's how i interpret that yeah so all, all, your, mean, all those I, biblical I can even um i can even amen that by saying that even the way this is like the um the niv version so that's like the new international version oh, okay and when you see the way it's spelled right 
Word is capitalized, just like God is capitalized. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I see. Uh-huh. Right. In, in, the I-N is capitalized, I-N. Then after that, everything's lowercase. Mm-hmm. The beginning was the, and then word is capitalized again. And then it says, and, which is all lowercase, the lowercase, word again, capitalized, was lowercase, with lowercase, God, uppercase. And then it goes comma, and then once again, and, lowercase, the, lowercase, word, uppercase, was, lowercase, God. So word, God, connection, word being um, capitalized. So the vibration isn't just like, oh, it's a vibration, like low. It's like vibration, echo, echo, like a, uh-huh. that's how I've always seen it, like, Vibration just goes on and on and on. Was was that three words? Was that three capital words? Yeah. Hey, three is, three, is, three is three is three is divinity. And the word and and the word again. <laughs> three is divinity. Three is one of those. Everything is divisible. But I don't want to get to all this stuff. But the oh, point, yeah, it is divinity. It is. But, it is. And even from a. a Christian, or even if you want to say Judeo-Christian, is the Trinity, which is a three, which is the same thing. It's the same divinity. Yeah, I just don't go with that Holy Ghost problem. You know, I don't go with the. Fu- I don't go with any of that. I'm not even get to that. Let me put it this way. So I go. For, yeah, I, no, I, I, I can understand that. I'm just saying that. Um, my thing is that it's it's how a person sees like the Holy Ghost. Like, are you seeing it as like what is it? You know, because I've always even for me, I was like, okay, who's the Holy Ghost? How's the Holy Ghost? What is the Holy Ghost? Like, everything else seemed like, okay, the Most High, I get that, you know? And I get that. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit is like, okay, I'm trying to figure that out. So, so I had come to the conclusion of my understanding of the Holy Spirit is that it's the bridge between the man, which could be you, and the most high. But it's it's a you know, the spirit form is just the connection. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I'm understanding. Yeah. I'm understanding. But, but what I'm saying is that, you know, when I hear people speak about the Holy Spirit, to me it's like, I don't know if I connect that way that the way they connect. Like you say, Oh, the Holy Spirit told me. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know, it's like did it? Did it really? You know, you know, okay, you said it this, so mm-hmm. if that's your belief, you know, then go with that. Okay, here's what I look at it as. Yeah. Let's let's take out Sloan Warriors, okay? Yeah. Um the father son. The father the father just meaning the point person. Right. We're, we're not saying that the son, we're not saying the father is over the son. Or the son is lesser than the father. Okay? Right. We're just saying the father is the point person, if you will. The son, right? Okay. Yeah. So in our configuration, right? I would be the father, right? Yeah. But the you would be the son. But it's not the same thing. When I say you the son, I, I mean the, as my collaborator. You're the collaborator. In other words, right. the father and the son collaborate. Okay, so you're a yeah. collaborator, right? Now, we have a model, but the model doesn't exist with us. The model is someplace else. Let's call the model the dark void, where we, where, where, where we look to. We okay. look into the dark, that dark, that remember the, the, that dark void they're talking about. Yeah. Now, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost could be that dark void, but it also could be what I'm calling the, the, the commissar. Now, commissar, C O M M E N S A L. The commissar is a is a, is a, is a thing like they uh, a commissar is something that that attach themselves to a, to to a, to an animal or, or to, to they attach themselves that neither harms uh, no no takes from it from 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 the host. So the commissar would be what we exist in. It doesn't harm us. It doesn't hurt us. 
uh, but it does actually contribute to us. It's sort of it's like a wrapping around that that's beneficial. It's beneficial. It's beneficial to both. Yeah. So for me, the Holy Ghost would be the Kamasa. Okay. All right. Now, in our configuration, the Kamasa to me is, for instance, when I go to a different place, like my wife is my Kamasa when I'm there, you know? Yeah. When I'm here, just in this atmosphere, it's like JB is my Kamasa here, right? Okay. When I'm in New York, you know, when I'm staying with, with, my, with, with, with my brother, uh, 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 buddy, he's the commissar there. When I'm down in Virginia, my sister's the commissar there. Right. You see? So it's it's your atmosphere. That's to me, is the Holy Ghost, if you want to put it that way. You see? You, well, I can you, see that. I can see that. You know, I, 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 they, 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 I don't necessarily take from them, and they don't necessarily take from me. They they might, you know what I mean? They're ben it's, it's a beneficial mutual thing, you see? I'm not a, yeah. a that, that kind of thing. So that's the yeah. way. I, that's why if I can p bring this right back to us, if you want to put it that way. Anything else? Because I have one more thought that I was thinking. I was gonna just, it's, it's, it has to do with this warrior thing. Um. Oh, just quickly. Um, I saw uh, the vid that you sent me with um, Dr. Gerald Horn. The book should be coming uh, this about week. The should... origin of white supremacy. That was very, very good. That uh, was excellent. I'm getting the book. I should be getting the book this week. It should be coming this right. week. So, so if you know, um, prompted me to you know dig down, dig deeper. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I got to do a deeper dive on this brother, right? So oh, you know, Joe. Um, it's like Houdini you wasn't around with Joe Horn. Man. No, Joe Horn used to be a BAI all the time. Yeah, he looks familiar. He does look familiar. Like I've seen him before. You see, he's a BAI. It all through the yeah, 80s. That's what I'm saying. Like, like when I say I've seen him before, meaning like I remember seeing him at BAI before. I know you know, but, oh, I'm, but I'm, just you know, like you would just say, you know, you just greet brother to brother in passing. Yeah. But I didn't. You know, I never really you know sat with him and talked with him. Or maybe I did and didn't really know him. You know what I'm saying? But when I saw you know. The images of him, especially like on um, on Google, I'm like, this guy looks familiar to me, right? And even though like his um, interview with the Useful Idiots, he's got you know the COVID hair, the beard, and the glasses and stuff. I'm like, he still like looks like somebody I know. Mm. He, he's, he has a great interview with with uh, with uh, Chris Hedges uh, also, but because on the same book. Yeah, but yeah. but here's I'm waiting, you know, see so people like Joe Horn, all these people, because I was a BA artist and do do what I do, because you know engineers are in the background, nobody knows, nobody remembers right. us. They sort of know us, but they don't they don't remember names. So I want to go to a book a book I know, a book reading one time with Joe Horn's around and just be there, you know. And then some picture to one he said, he's gonna say, I know this guy. You know what I mean? The same thing yeah, yeah. the same thing with my man, the book I'm reading now, Greg Palace. I recorded Greg. I've been to Greg Palace's house in Long in in, in in Long Island. You know, it's when he yeah. was in Long Island with his kids running around, whatever have you. You know what I mean? So he's gonna yeah. be a day. He's gonna say, "I know this guy. Do I, what do I know you from?" <laughs> All these people. It's funny because because you know, be I, because of my just and just engineering. You know, just all these forms that I had to take. You know, yeah. a lot of people. I know a lot of people, and a lot of people. They will know who they will know. They'll say, "What is this guy from?" And, and I've I've been in so many situations. It's so weird, man. You know, I mean, like I said before, I've I've shaken hands with Thomas Sankara, uh, 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 Moshe Diane, uh, Kenneth Kuhunda. Who has done that? Who in the world yeah. has shook hands with those? But here's, here's what I want to ask you in reference to. Because, and been in the presence of Gordon Parks. Come on, and and and, yeah. and, 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 and you know, keep on going. We can keep on. Going. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. My question to you is that, you know, you, um, you know, world travel and stuff like that. And, you know, you obviously was based out of New York, right? Mm. So my question to you is that, did you gather or garner or even meet, like you said, so many people and stuff, more so by being not really just stateside, but in New York or more, would you say you met more in your experience of traveling. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Um, woo, because I've traveled for so long, 
I mean, when I was in Brazil, yeah, that's what I'm asking because, like, for a long time, you was in New York, right? Yeah. For a segment of your life, you was in New York, like consistently for a, a good period of time. Yeah. You know, traveling here and there, but really still based in New York. But then you switched it up and then started really traveling the world. Yeah. And now, you know, not just the United States, but New York isn't really just your base anymore. Mm-hmm. It's really, you know, the world is your base now. Yeah, so, I, I, w- I want to travel a lot more than, than, but I'm a little older now to, to travel would be different. The way I used to travel was be very interesting because I would meet all kinds of really interesting. People. I swore one time I was going down the Mekong River, down from down from uh, uh, from Thailand through uh, through Laos. I swore I was on a boat with a CIA guy, man. I, I was I was I was hammering this dude, man. I, he wouldn't talk, and I kept on beating on him. I kept on beating on him, beating on him. <laughs> Kept on beat because you know I don't give up, man. I went, I hammered this dude. I hammered this dude. It was a long boat ride too. That guy was so yeah. disgusted with me because <laughs> he just looked to me. He looked like a typical CIA guy, man. So I just couldn't help it, man. I couldn't help. I couldn't help myself. But like, why was he there, though? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, man? I don't know. We these guys, you know, what are they doing at MSNBC now? Who knows? With who? Please, yeah. I don't know. But, you know, I, I'm, now I met a lot of people because of the work, because of my archival, of course, of my recording work, you know. But then yeah. when I travel, I always end up with, with significant people. Like when I was in Brazil, yeah. I met you know, Barbino. Like this is like the, 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 like the third highest Yoruba priest or the, I say Condom Bay priest in order Brazil, you know, that he even yeah. dreamt that I was coming, that kind of stuff. I have, some, I have these weird, these, these unbelievable experiences, you know, I, I can't even explain them. You know, like when I met Ken, it doesn't matter. It, all, all, it's just unbelievable. You know, it's just uh, wow. You know, just wow. Uh, anyway, let's, let's leave with that. I got, here's what I wanted to say to, to end, end on this note. So I've been okay. thinking, right? Because, you know, you know, you have all these uh, proud boys or whatever, you know, the, the, the Trump, the Trump shock troops or whatever have you, you know. Yeah. And I was thinking, I say like, well, you know, the way the way the the the, the Anglo racist white supremacist w- operates is, you know, he has he has the the, the resource person and work with all the money that's that's doing on you know, like 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 the Rothschild guy with the money or whoever, you know, the whatever with the money. And then they have the administrator, their 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 puppets, you know, like like the Trumps and the and the and the Obamas and that that kind of kind of thing, right? Then you might have some other functionaries, then you have your shock troops, you know. Now yeah. Obama didn't have no shock troops. You know, he just had whatever, but but you know, but but but, but um, the the drunk the drunk man has has the chalk shop trees, right? Okay, yeah. But black people, we go the other way. So what happens is his shock troops, they're really chumps. They have to they have to go in groups. You know, like in platoon. You know, what I mean, the Tom Barrington had to have his boys with him. But you know, yeah. the but but the William Defoe character is just he a loner. You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. so so one brother can handle three or four. four but but then if you if you, these shock troops come and they say they try to come to the polls, then they close with, with black people, black men. They're not going to last. There's no way they're going to work. work. So. So we go for the other way. So our our, our shock troops are going to knock their troops out. And as we go further up, what we need to do is get rid of some of these these people up further up, the, the managers and 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 the functionaries that that still have this structure, this this, this uh, Anglo structure that they go under, thinking that like a Skip Gates or whoever is in charge of anything. No, you're not. It's the troops. No, no, we 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 rule from the bottom. Up, we don't rule from the uh, top down, and that's what they yeah. don't get. They think they they think if they if they if they buy off this district attorney, whatever have you, that's going to save them. That's going to uh, that's going to have you manipulate the, the the masses, if you will. You know, the the, the rest of the black people, it ain't going to work that way. That's why well, that's why it's so important. Down ballot so important because we're going to get rid of all of these DAs, these bootlickers, as they say, whatever the, whatever you want to call whatever names you want to call these the coonies or whatever you want to call these people. You're going to get rid of them because you know, look. The people like the, I'm not going to name no names because I don't want to, you know, whatever. But you understand what I'm saying. It's because your yeah. degree that you got from that university means absolutely nothing to what we have to do. Nothing. It means something yeah. to the world you exist in. That you got your your boy, you got that little sheepskin means nothing. You know. Yeah. Yo, can I can I tell you something that like relates directly to that? Mm, please. Okay. Have you seen Fargo yet? <laughs> 
Not yet. Everybody keeps on now because now, everybody's watch fun because what uh, Chris Rock is in it now, right? Nah, but it's it's more than just Chris Rock though. Okay, it really, more than that. But I just meant that people now follow us back on the map because of Chris Rock. But I mean, the series oh, supposed yeah. to be good no anyway. Doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. So, right, so, so I, have to check. I have to wait, man. I have to wait for the whole box set. I got to watch the whole series. I can't be, I can't be. You know, really you understand. Mm-hmm. Each, each, each season of Fargo is a totally different unto itself season. Okay. You understand? So like, like season one story is like, say from episode one to episode 10. But season two is a whole different story. Okay. Season three is a whole different story. Okay. And now season four, this is a whole different story. Okay. Has no relation to season three, none whatsoever. But it's all you know. But um, but 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 don't they still have the stupid criminals? That's what I didn't know about Fargo. They have stupid criminals, right? <laughs> no, no. Well, it's not just stupid criminals. It's just you know odd, you know, you know the Coen Brothers style, you know odd mm. characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is our characters in there. But okay. the storyline is, is each time is different though. So so what I was just gonna say in reference to what you had just said, correct? Right? If you remember what you just said was there's a scene in episode one, right? It's about like twenty five minutes into it, right? And I'll just break it down for you real quick. The brothers are talking in a group. Right now, picture this. You you've experienced this yourself. The brothers are talking in a group. Here comes some little white guy who wants to chill with the brothers for a minute. But the brothers ain't having it. So the brothers tell him to get out of here. So then he's like, Do you know who I am? So you know that do you know who I am, homie? <laughs> what you were just talking about. Uh-huh. You know, and they're looking at him like. So the brother said to him, he said, do you know who I am? Because he was supposed to be somebody big, right? Mm-hmm. The brother said, do you? <laughs> to him, he said, do you? So the guy's like, what? Then he's like, you know, you say what a lot. <laughs> then the guy's like, what? He goes, he must be confused. <laughs> Look for that scene. Okay. I'm telling you. That scene. This is, this is episode one of the first season. No, of season four. This oh, is Chris okay. Rock season. Uh, Chris, okay, okay. So you just go like I say, go to twenty. You could just scrub to twenty five minutes. You'll okay. see it. Okay. <laughs> I see what 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 what, 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 what channel what channel is it on? What channel is it on? Oh, FX. 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 Yeah, I see. I have to see if I get FX on. here. I have to see yeah, if it I came get... on. It came on tonight. If you got Hulu, it's also on Hulu. Also, well, I have to see. Right. I have to see if JB has. They got this big whatever sixty five inch whatever the thing. I don't watch yeah, this so stuff. If they got like you know uh, what you call it premium apps, what they got to do is have the Hulu app. And I'm sure if they got regular cable, FX is one of the cable channels. I'll and they got FX on demand. I'll, so I'll ask because you look at it on demand. You can just I'll see I'll the first episode, season four, and go right in. Okay, I'll, I'll ask him because. It, He's got to go away from. I'm, I'm here alone for the week, which which is you right. know like that. So I'll. No, that's not true, man. I I, I end up do, I end up I end up reading anyway. I never look at the. <laughs> I never look at the TV. The big yeah. TV. I don't look at. I don't even check out Netflix or nothing, man. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'll try. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, right now, man, yo, you yeah. know, you into some heavy reading right now, so I get it. Yeah. <sighs> what can I say? Well, I'm just saying, like, I'll let try. Me say, I'll see that scene. Okay. Like sometimes I just wake up and go watch that scene. Oh. Just for the that I start my day. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. But well, see, I just have to get. You know, I have lived that so many times in my life. I'm like, I've never seen it on screen <laughs> done so well. Well, like literally, like. Because, I mean, how many times, like I said, you've been in a situation, like when you mentioned earlier about, um, like, your commander, right? Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you say the guy was your commander? Yeah, he's a com- com- company, company commander, commander, administrative. He's administrative commander. Right, the administrative. Okay, so he's that guy mm-hmm. who comes in and, you know, tries to get with you and flex, and then you shut him down, and he don't know what to do. 
in yeah. that situation. In fact, I have to tell you one one funny scene about with that that guy, my, that company commander. He he just he, he he had problems with me. You know, I didn't have problems. He had problems with me, right? But I'm gonna tell you one tiny tiny thing, right? Everybody knew that he did that for some words. He was how you say he was my mortal enemy. I was I wasn't his. He was my mortal enemy. He always tried to you know get me, but I would always get out of it somehow, right? But one time, I was talking about the dental thing. I had to. Um, they had taken out my wisdom teeth, but they took all, they, they, one was gone already, and they took out all three at one time. And they put me on this medication. I was like really drugged up, right? So we had this meeting that I was supposed to be at, right? I had to be at. The company commander was there. And so I was at the meeting now. Okay, they had, it was codeine three. So I was a little, um, you know, knocked up. Let's put it that way. But I wasn't so knocked up that I didn't know what was going on. So I got in there and I started to basically, you know, tell this guy, ah, oh, what, what are you talking about? This, that don't make no sense. <laughs> they, 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 everybody sitting around the table, they go like, they go like, oh, slow is high, man. <laughs> and he, and he's, he's laying it on the company commander. It was hilarious because everybody knew, everybody, and the company commander could do nothing because the dental clinic, the dental clinic, they wanted to put out three teeth at one time and give me the narcotic. It wasn't my fault. Oh man, it was hilarious. It was unbelievably funny. It was unbelievably you funny. You say you can do whatever you want. Because <laughs> okay. They authorized that. Because <laughs> everybody knew. He said, "Well, cause I think oh, I came to the meeting late. That's what it was." They said, "What's what's what's slow that?" Oh, he had to, he, he was at the dental clinic. You know, he's at the dental clinic. And plus, my girl was at the. I won't get on that stuff. But the point is. <laughs> The point is, man, it was hilarious. Okay, man, let me leave you with that. These, I got to remember these old thoughts now because I've been doing a whole lot of, you know, posting for stuff, from old pictures and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I've been checking them out. Yeah. I'll check you later, man. All right. All right. You be well. All right, you too, brother. All right, later.